Thanks for joining me again guys for another video beer review and this time we've got a bottle of beer from Weird Beard. It's a collaboration beer with Lurvig and it's something to do with Indie Man Beer Con by the looks of it. Whether this was brewed for that for that do I'm not too sure but uh, yeah the frog the frog is fired a gooseberry pale ale coming in at 4.4% ABV quality artwork from these uh, guys in London pause at your leisure quality cap the usual from Weird Beard yeah a gooseberry pale ale Hmm, interested. Quite a bit of smoke there. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Well, I hope it is. I'm not going to pour it all in because when I opened it, I never showed you guys, but the sediment was sitting really nice and subtly at the bottom of the bottle, so... Hear that? Right, okay, yeah. Hazy, almost. Well, it looks really, really sort of clear, but it's hazy. Big time hazy. No head on it. Quite a bit of carbonation. It's not erratic, but it's, it's steady. Looks like juice. Well, right, let's get the nose. <sighs> tart. Big time tart. Smells kind of sweet too. You do pick that gooseberry up straight away. That's not, that's not hiding. <sighs> Maybe a bit of sourness about it. It just, it's got that sort of funky sour sort of smell going on with it but uh, yeah excited to try this one guys cheers <laughs> oh man this is good shit It's like a, I can just feel it just dragging my taste buds back to my throat. The gooseberries in there big time, that is, that is in there. And it's tart, it's bitter, it's hoppy, it's fruity, it's just Whoa, what a mesmerising beer. Really, really nicely carbonated. You can, you yeah, probably won't pick it up, but it's still hissing now. And that, that carbonation helps push all that around your mouth and you're just smacked left, right and centre with a bombardment of beauty really that is marvellous stuff that is I'm going to tip it all in sod it and yeah I mean that's really sort of milked it up even more put a bit of a head on it as well too but it's really, really hazed it up even more than what it was before. That almost looks like a, a smoothie now, really. And that fruit, that gooseberry, that, it's even more intense. <laughs> Whether that was sitting at the bottom of the yeast, I don't know. But, I mean, it's left a layer of film on the bottom of the bottle and I can see it. Fuck a duck. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Rightly so. Quality stuff. Weird beard, Lurvik. Um, I'm guessing it's some sort of collaboration to celebrate the Indie Man Beer Com um, event. But this is the, the Frog is Fired Gooseberry Pale Ale. Absolutely great. Um, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but for me, it ticks all the boxes. It's an absolutely fantastic, quirky pale ale. Anyway, guys, until next time, cheers.